welcome back to the channel everybody. I'm Andrew Walker and you guys are watching Cast and Conquer. We are out on the ice right now. Just walked out. I walked out first. Darian came and met me. We just got the otter set up. We're about to get everything inside, dialed, all the cameras set up. We're on a nice little canal today. We have about three inches of black ice, but very crystal clear black, black ice. And we are after some largemouth bass, pike, and panfish. So some bluegill, perch, white perch, and crappies, hopefully. Should be a really good day. It's supposed to be a high of like minus 10 today. And uh, we got some clear, clear skies. Gonna be cold all day, so we're not worried about losing any ice today. And uh, we are back on the hard water. So without further ado, like I said, the otter is already set up. We're in the monster lodge today. And we got Darian right there. He almost fell. We're gonna get out and get in and get dialed and get jigging. It's time. What do you think? Let's get at it. We got some new stuff to try. I'm excited. I got the new uh, live scope with the new transducer and uh, it should be a good day. I'm excited to get that all tested out today. Let's get some fish. That blue and orange one, I think. The default. Blue. Yeah. Yeah, that is definitely the one I want. And we got the live scope there. We got a mega live over there. And we have about three inches of ice. We've actually already seen some fish. One really big fish. Darren's got a fish coming in. I'm going to start with True Grit with a big rattle bait. Then I have a slap shot with an Acme Hyper Rattle here, jigging wrap style. All with the new Frostbite diesel reels, the 1000 diesels. As well, we got a dipstick with a lip smacker dinner bell. And of course, the Pantastic with a diesel with a mini tantrum. That lemonade pink yellow one, that is a money maker last time on first ice. So we will see if it can get the job done again. Mm. Darren's got something. What is it, Darren? First fish on the feather duster is a big bluegill. That is a big bluegill. Nice. 34 inch ultralight. That was sweet. That's well, two. They just came together. Oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Big largey. Yeah, he didn't. He, he wanted to go down. And you said no. No, my drag time. It's pretty tight. tight. He should have been able to pull drag there. That was a nice one. That was a four pounder. Big fish. Came from where? No Under me. Two of them. Got him! Oh! That's not one of the ones you lost, is it? Yeah, that's the one I lost. That's on me right now. I don't know. The other one's coming though, which is smaller. How did I lose them twice? Like my drag is so perfect and everything. Like it just like hooked up enough to like pull off his lip skin. Now he's got chapped fucking lips. What are you doing, guy? Friggin' buddy heaters. <laughs> the worst. <laughs> it's a big bluegill. Yes, first bluegill. Definitely not what I wanted. Probably my least favorite fish to catch on the ice besides perch, but when they're that size, they're definitely welcomed. Going back. Back. On you? Yeah, the big one just left to the left, right? And there's another one straight on me. It's coming to you. There's two giants. I got another one over here. Oh, he's coming to you. Ah. He's huge. <laughs> There's two. There's two. Oh, now. We got a largey. Let's go on the jigging wrap. Yes. First one of the day. He did not say no. That's for sure. Full commitment. Nice little guy. Finally. That is nice to see. Going back. Largies is open here in this zone for another four days. 
So we're seeing what we can do here before it closes up. All right, we are back. We moved. Well, I moved. Darian just left. I moved the tent ahead like 10 feet just because we had a big pile of water because we had like Darian's holes and my holes and then with our weight kind of like made a bow in the ice and the water was coming up. So uh, made a little move. And now without a, a second hole there, we should have a far less water. So we are back and dialed on the spot. I would like to get on some big largies. So let's see what we can do here. We got the dipstick. We got the jigging wrap. We got thin ice. We just need fish. Have like a massive laundry. One sec, stop talking. Got him. Bass. We got him. Yes. There's another one down there if I can drop down quick enough. He's just absolutely pinned on here though. There we go. Largy number two acquired on the jigging wrap. Just came up and smashed it. There was like three fish down there. We're gonna get this one back. See if we can get one of those other bigger ones to go. See you later, guy. All the way down. And like I said before, this is getting the job done for those largies. Small, small little jigging wrap. Hopefully I can get that in focus. Perch colored on the dipstick. Darian, like I said, just left. And we that that was the first school fish that came in. And let's get back down there. Finally. I need to get a new treble hook on here because he busted up my treble. But we are on them. I am pumped. All I wanted was a few bass today, and they seem to be biting. When you can get them to come in, they crush it. A few missed opportunities, but that's okay. That's okay. We're gonna get back down there. I think we can get a four or five pounder before the end of the day is done. This dipstick is absolutely doing the job. Super good bend in that, just keeps them fish pinned. Let's get another one. Huge. Huge. Huge walleye. Huge walleye. Huge bass, huge bass. The, the biggest bass, the biggest bass I've ever seen. This is huge. This is huge. This is huge, it's a seven pounder. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, don't, don't break off, don't break off, don't break off, don't break off. I got him. What a save, what a save. Oh my God. Whoa. I fully went under to my shoulder, pinned him against the ice and got him. What a giant. Okay, let's get a bump. Holy man, what a bass. Mouth closed, 21 incher. I gotta get a weight. Guys, I got a pig. Look at the size of that largy. Oh my God. What? 21 inch. I gotta get a quick weight on him here. Kilograms, 3.08 kilograms. I don't know, I can't get it into pounds, but 3.78 kilograms, I'll mark that above what that is in pounds, but that is an absolute giant. She's bleeding a little bit. She came off right under the hole. I was so worried about losing her. She came off, I reached to the shoulder to get her. Oh my God! What? That is a giant! Oh, I can't believe it. That is a friggin' tank. What a tank. What a tank. That is a giant largy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. See you later, girl. Look at her under that ice. Bye, I love you. Oh my God, yes, yes, yes! I think that's a PB, I gotta work it out in pounds, but my, my biggest largy is like 6'2 or something, pounds. 3.78 kilograms? What? Oh my goodness. Okay, so I calmed down a little bit. That was an absolute giant. 
So I did the calculations. It was 3.08 kilograms. Comes out to 6.79 pounds. And then I was just kind of sitting here after that fish, just couldn't believe like how I ended up losing that fish in the hole and like grabbing them and bringing them back under the ice. Wouldn't you know it, another blob just shows up out of nowhere. I drop down, he's about two feet past me already. Turns around for the jigging wrap right away. Boom, rod oh folded God. over. Bring him right up another to the ice. Tank. It was like another five, five it's and a half pound ah. largey, absolute giant no. again. And that one actually popped off and I wasn't down to stick my hand in again. But yeah, can't believe I made that snag on that big one. What a day. I've only had, that was my second bass landed. No, third bass landed. I had one with Darian, two since he's been gone. And I caught one bluegill and lost that largey. But that one big largey makes up for everything. I can't believe it. Uh, that's a new PB for me. Like absolute giant. I've never even seen my biggest largey before that was like 6.1 or something. 6.15. 6.79. This live scope unit, I tell you, there's no escaping them. They can't run anymore. Even though I'm kind of just sitting in the tent waiting for them to come to me. You can just read these fish so much better. And they just want to crush that perch jigging wrap. 1.30 now, so I still got like four hours or so left. And... Uh, I think the crappie will fire up at dark, but I think we're due for a couple more largies. I really wanted to be able to target largies today, and I knew if we couldn't get on the largies, it'd be a lot of like perch, white perch, bluegill, but no, largies seem to be the fish that are committing. I am using a lot bigger baits to be able to target them. Frostbite tantrums, jigging wraps, and then I have some spoons, uh, but I haven't actually used too much of the spoons yet today. There has been no need. They seem to be loving the perch jigging wrap, so. I'm gonna get back to fishing and uh, hopefully we'll get another big, big largey topside. Back at it. Oh, ho, ho, little blue. What are these guys doing showing up? This is not what we wanted. That is not my, what we wanted. Come on, got him. That's a bass, little largey. Yes, yes. All right, number three of the day. Not a big one compared to that other one, but nice little one pounder probably. Good little fish. Things are heating up. Had a lot of fish come in the last 10, 10 or 15 minutes or so. Still all on the jigging wrap. I tried a few other things and it just wasn't happening. So put that perch jigging wrap back on. Three fish came in with this guy and uh, this guy just raced up and smoked it. So. Got about an hour and a half left. Things seem to be heating up. The cadence of these fish, like they bite so soft. It's just that smallest little wiggle. Let's get this guy back and get back down there. See if we can get another one. Yes. I'll see you later, buddy. Bye. Two big bass coming in. Two giants. Oh, I lost him. He tapped it missed it. Come on back. Come on. Got him. Big crappy. Oh, big crappy. That's a nice crappy. Yes. Slab. 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 Yes. Amazing. Let's go. All right, right after that bass, I drop back down. Beautiful crappie, absolute chunker. Good 12 incher, smoked the jigging wrap as well. They came in as a pair of two, lost this one first, and then dropped back down. He skyrocketed back down and chewed that jigging wrap. This one's coming home for supper, as long as we can catch a couple more. It's that perfect prime time bite for these crappies right now though, so let's go. What a beauty little fish. Turned around. Coming to try for it again. Got him. Got him. Nice bass. Nice bass. Yes. Good way to finish the day. Choked it. Absolutely choked it. It is getting dark. 
and that might be the last bass of the day. Kind of thought the crappies would move in here after getting that one nice crappy, but a couple big marks that have just, they come into the beam of the transducer and it's like they feel it or something, the ticking or, I don't know, the signal going out and they just skirt around me and I see them leave on the other end. This guy raced in and ate it. Nice little bass to finish the day. Probably about a pound and uh, got about 10 minutes left. See if we can maybe get another fish or two, but if not, Thanks for checking out this week's video guys and gals and uh, till next week we will be back on the hard water. Hopefully one more day of largemouth bass before the season closes here in Ontario. Like I said it's open till the 15th. Got three days to go so if you want to see more largemouth bass or ice fishing content in general don't forget go down below subscribe to the channel hit that bell give me a thumbs up all that good stuff and there'll be lots more content to come. Let's get this guy back. Thanks for checking it out. Peace. See you guy. Bye. Come on, one last fish. Got him. Big. Big. Big, 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 big. He's big. He's big. What is it? Is it a bass? Is it a bass? Oh my goodness. Just let me see you. It's skirting like a. Oh, it's a big bass. It's a nice bass. Nice. Nice largey. Ah, that was terrible. I can't get him. <laughs> Got him. Nice. Hopefully, that's in frame. This is definitely the last one. I just got one a second ago, camera wasn't on. Look at that jigging wrap right there. Right on the tip top of the mouth. Like, I just had him by lip skin, but he wasn't coming off. And there we go. Nice two and a half, probably, three pounder. Real good fish. We're gonna get him back, and we are gonna pack up. Even though there's a fish down there, I might make one last drop, but this is the end for real. See ya. Size level.